Hey everyone, Gen Z guy here, and today I want to break down and discuss two different business structures that are commonly used in the United States and are commonly mistaken as well as the same or very similar business structures. These very lucrative and secretive structures that I'm talking about are limited liability companies and limited partnerships, commonly known as LPs. While both structures offer their own unique benefits, there are important differences between the two that can have significant implications for business owners and the financial success of the business. Now let's get into it. They want to say my name, but they hold him back. They want to say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do this fact. And I... First, let's start by diving into more detail about limited liability companies to really understand what they are and how they are commonly used. An LLC is a type of what I like to call a hybrid business structure that combines the liability protection of a corporation with the ever important tax benefits of a partnership. This means that the owners of an LLC, also known as members, are not personally liable for the debts and obligations of the company. In other words, if the LLC were to go bankrupt or face legal action, the members' personal assets would not be at risk but rather only the assets of the business. In addition to legal liability protection, LLCs offer a great deal of flexibility in terms of management and taxation. LLCs can be managed by the members themselves or they can choose to appoint a manager to run the day-to-day -day operations of the business. This flexibility allows the members to determine who's in charge if they don't see that any of them are able or qualified to run the business themselves. Furthermore, LLCs have the option to be taxed as a partnership, which means that the company itself does not pay federal income tax. Instead, the profits and losses of the company are passed down through to the members, who report these profits and losses on their own personal tax returns. Now, let's turn our attention to limited partnerships. A limited partnership, or LP, is a type of business structure that consists of two different types of partners general partners, and limited partners, whose roles within the business are vastly different. The general partners are responsible for managing the business and are personally liable for its debts and obligations, while limited partners, on the other hand, are passive investors who contribute capital to the business but have no control over its operations. This means that just like investing in the stock market, a limited partner's liability is only limited to the amount of their investment. This also means that for limited partners, it is your job to do your due diligence in determining if the general partner is somebody who you trust with your money and you expect will be able to give you a return on your investment. One of the main benefits of an LP is the ability to attract passive investors without exposing them to unlimited liability. This can be particularly attractive to situations where the business requires a large amount of capital to expand or get off the ground. Additionally, LPs have been afforded the option to be taxed as a partnership, which means that the company itself does not pay federal income tax, just like an LLC, and the profits in the business, again, are passed through to the partners who report them on their personal tax returns. So now, you may be wondering, what are the differences between LLCs and LPs? Well, let me break them down for you. The main difference is the level of liability protection offered to the owners. In an LLC, all members are shielded from personal liability for debts and obligations of the company, while in an LP, limited partners are shielded from personal liability, but general partners are not. This means that if the business were to face legal action or go bankrupt, the general partners will be personally liable for all outstanding debts. Another key difference is the management structure of the two types of businesses. In an LLC, members can choose to manage the business themselves or appoint a manager to do so if they feel that none of the members are ably equipped to perform the duties of running the business. In an LP, however, the general partner or partners are responsible for managing the business and make decisions on behalf of the entire partnership. Finally, the tax implications of the two structures are slightly different. Both LLCs and LPs have the option to be taxed as a partnership which means that the profits and losses of the business are passed through to the owners. However, LLCs also have the option to be taxed as a corporation, which can offer certain tax benefits in certain situations, while LPs do not have this option. 
If you are considering to have your LLC be taxed as a corporation, please be sure to consult with a local professional who can help you navigate these uncertain waters. While LLCs and LPs are two very unique business structures that offer differentiating benefits and drawbacks, both offer liability protection for investors and the ability to be taxed as a partnership. LLCs offer great flexibility in terms of management and taxation. While LPs can be useful in situations where passive investors are needed, when choosing between these two structures, it is important to consider the specific needs and goals of your business and consult with a qualified professional in your area to ensure that you are making the best financial decision for the success of you and your business. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment down below for any financial tips and advice that you would like to see me cover. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way.